Welcome to the Christmas cookie countdown. The very gourd. Very gourd. Hi guys, I'm Libby and welcome to Punzi's Palace where I do all things Disney, hence the Punzi, and all things regarding my life and home, hence my palace. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below for more Disney and lifestyle content. All right guys, so today I am taking part in the Christmas cookie countdown and this was put together by Andrew and Jessica from Magic in Michigan as well as Megan and probably Juliet too from the Pumpkin Queens and I am super excited to take part in this. I will link both their channels down below so you can go and check them out as well as all the videos before me and after me. So this is a cookie countdown all the way up to Christmas Day and each person in this Christmas cookie countdown bakes a cookie recipe and uploads it on each day leading up to Christmas. So I am today on a Sunday. I think I'm like the third or fourth person to go. So be sure to go check out the channels that are going before me as well as the ones who are going after me and stay tuned for all of these Christmas cookie recipes because they are going to be so delicious and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. So the cookie recipes that we could make for today could be a personal favorite, one that you usually make around the holidays, one that's a family recipe or something that you just want to try out. It could be anything, just has to be a cookie I guess. But today I wanted to make for you guys not one but two cookie recipes because they are my absolute favorite. I always make these around Christmas time and my family makes a lot of different cookie recipes. But if I had to put all the cookie recipes on the chopping block, these two would be the ones that I would save because they are my absolute favorite. They are so delicious and I love them so much and I just couldn't pick one of them to make for today so I had to do both. And also because these are both pretty close family recipes. I won't be telling you exactly what the recipes are. I will show you the ingredients in them, but I will not be giving out exact measurements or anything like that because they are family recipes and we kind of want to keep them. So I'll give a little background on the two recipes that I will be making before we go down to the kitchen and start cooking up a storm. So I don't really like to cook a whole lot, but I do love to bake. I think a big part of that is because with baking, it is all exact measurements and it's so pretty and precise as well as I have a giant sweet tooth so I really like baking. And the first recipe is a Christmas cookie that I have been making for I don't even remember how long. It's been around in my family for so long because it is my mom's friend's recipe. So it has a bunch of different names. She calls them Jenny's cookies because it was her friend Jenny's recipe. I call them the Reese's cookies. They can also be called the peanut butter cookies, but they are a Reese's peanut butter cookie. But I absolutely love these. They are very simple and easy to make. And the other cookie recipe I will be making today is one that has been around for a long time. I think it was my grandmother's recipe. She may have found it from a cookbook or something somewhere but I absolutely love this recipe and I haven't been making this forever but I did start making it about five years ago or so every single year at Christmas and they're really easy to make a lot easier than I thought they were gonna be and they're so delicious and they are a pretty classic cookie to have at Christmas time they go by a few different names I just call them ginger cookies but a more descriptive cookie title for them would be chewy ginger molasses cookies so those are the two recipes that I will be making for you guys today and I will show you down in the kitchen what all you will need, the ingredients, and we're gonna start baking. All right, we are down in the kitchen. I have all of my ingredients for both cookies out, so I'm just gonna tell you what all of the ingredients are for each cookie, and then I will start making the chewy ginger cookies first. So for the Jenny's cookies, the peanut butter cookies, you will need white sugar, brown sugar, butter, peanut butter, eggs, some vanilla, flour, baking soda, salt, and Reese's. And then for the ginger cookies, you will also need sugar as well as oil, molasses, eggs again, salt, cinnamon, ginger, and cloves, ground ginger and ground cloves, as well as more baking soda and more flour. Besides all the regular baking things that you'll need like measuring cups, bowls, and cookie sheets, for the peanut butter cookies, you will need a specific cookie sheet. It is a tassie pan, so it looks like little things to make little mini cupcakes or muffins in. You will need this because of the way that the cookies bake. They're baked in these little things to look like little muffin bottoms, I guess. As you add each ingredient, you will need to stir and make sure that it is mixed well for each 
one in between. So right now I just have the sugar and oil in there. Just make sure that's mixed up nice and good. This part always takes forever because it's molasses and it truly is slow as molasses. I just wanted to comment and say that I hate the smell of molasses. <laughs> it smells really gross to me, but it makes it taste really, really good. When you first put the molasses in, it's only sugar and oil that's in there, so it smells still really bad for a little bit. And then you put the cinnamon in, and that just makes it smell so much better. some sugar and then place them on a cookie sheet. And I'm going to be taking off my green because I don't want cookie gunk on it. A big thing about these cookies is you do not want to grease the sheet because there's already a ton of oil in the cookies. <music> This is batch one. I still have quite a few more I can make out of the dough, but you'll know they are done when they start to form these nice cracks on top. All right, and we are finally onto making the peanut butter cookies. So it is a very simple recipe as well. We are just going to cream together a bunch of the ingredients. first before I add in flour, baking soda, and salt. So we have to do that part. I'm just using some Crisco and you can use a bit of a paper towel so you don't get too much in there. You don't want them too greasy. All 
right, and next, I take the ring off again because we are going to be rolling up these into small little balls to put into this entire tassie pan. <laughs> So I don't put them in right away because then they become little puddles of Reese's and all melted. I do wait a little bit and then I pop these in. I just had to try one of these because they taste the best when they're right out of the oven. This one's still super warm. I think I did put them in just a little bit too quickly because he's all melty on top, but oh, it's going to taste so good. Mmm. Amazing. All of my childhood in this cookie. Mm. Gotta go get more. All right, before I put my last batch of cookies in, I didn't have enough dough for a full another one of these. But what you can do is you just put some water in the ones that are empty and that prevents the pan from getting burnt or something. I don't know, my mom does it. So I know it prevents something bad from happening. I would do a small little taste testing for you guys so it is on a little Christmas platter. I've already taste tested the Reese's one um, and I had to have another one because anytime there's an accident where one of them falls or anything like that you have to eat it that's just that's what you have to do that's the rule. I'm going to try my chewy ginger molasses cookie. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> So I will also insert a little clip here because I will be going over to Michael's later. And if you can't take my word for these being really delicious and really amazing because I am biased because they're my favorite, I will have him and his family taste test them as well. Peanut butter one first. Yeah. <laughs> these are my favorites every year. They taste lovely. Peanut buttery. Nice chocolate finish to it. <laughs> You're a little anxious. No, I'm a little, little over over <laughs> Are you being extra? I'm gonna waft it. It smell, smells like ginger. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice, nice spice taste to it. So it's a nice compliment on the, the chocolate on the other one. What's your favorite Christmas cookie? Overall. Overall, it's the Reese's ones. So I made your favorite cookie list? Yeah. All right, and I'm just gonna end the video here in my kitchen because I still have a lot of cleaning up to do and everything. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below on what your favorite holiday cookie is or just cookie in general. If you don't like holiday cookies, just what's your favorite cookie in general because I love cookies. But let me know in the comments down below and until next time, guys, farewell.